um, hi guys, this is Isis Priestess. So I decided to go ahead and do it here, do this video in my room. Um, oh, come on. Up there. Um, go ahead and do the video here in my room so that, um, you know, get it, over, get it done and that way we can upload it. Alright, so I hope you guys had a wonderful Lamas. Um, I had a wonderful one. It was, um, it was very, um, how should I say, painful. <laughs> yeah, I still have it right here. Oh, it still stings. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Feast of Waggy. This is known as the Festival of Drunkenness. And the Festival of Drunkenness was basically, in my viewpoint, an all-out binge drinking feast. As well as all the feasts of drunkenness. Now this this um, observance goes to by goes through three days. So I'm going to actually be doing um, six uh, videos, uh, three for explanation, three for the actual ritual, and it will not be as hopefully it will not be as crowded as uh, a romp head was. All right. Um, so the first day is, um, you will need wine, white bread, day two to require natron wine, a white loaf, and food offering for the Aku. Uh, you wish to honor, and of course the third one is, um, um, okay. Um, oh, before I can with the third one, the third day, the second day you also pour, um, Water in a blue salsa or bowl uh, will serve as your nun basin, and I am going to go out today and actually purchase a blue basin. Um, if I can get one over at um, Dull Tree, I definitely will um, get it there. And then, of course, the day three is involves natron, honey, and sweets. Writing tool to offer Jehuti and tools to use pen, your computer mouse or pin tablet centric or your or of your own that you wish it was. Alright, so day one is central to the altar will be the icon of Osiris. And it's known as the Eve of Wacky. And I'm gonna tell look how short this ritual is. It starts here. Well, so it starts here, go all the way down, and it ends um, So, I'm going to be covering the first day, and as I said, um, the central figure is Osiris, and the offerings that you would give for this ritual would be, of course, wine, white bread, wine and white bread. Um, I want to say this. Um, for me, when we talk about wine, and the Feast of Drunkenness is... A, uh, is very centered around the vine. What I do for this ritual is I substitute wine for grape juice. And the reason for this is that I do not drink alcohol. Uh, I have no problem with other people drinking alcohol, but I don't drink it. Also, to me, it's a complete waste of money. So I substitute it with um, grape juice. Same thing with beer. I don't drink beer. So I substitute it with root beer. So it's it's different than what the ancients intended. Um, there, uh, It wasn't uncommon back then for children to drink beer, though I'm pretty sure they did not get drunk off. I'm pretty sure their, their parents controlled their consumption. And of course, nobility or noble children drank um, wine. Of obvious reasons, I doubt the Nile was clean. Um, compared to the fact is that most of your rivers were used to defecate, means urinate. Um, so yeah, I doubt that the Nile was in fact clean. 
Alright, so I'm going to end here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it helps out. The next video that I will be doing will actually be the actual ritual. And then I'll be back tomorrow with the day two. So I will see you guys then. Until next time. Bless be.